everyone, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November lifestyle favorites. I'm going to talk about food, music, TV shows, some random favorites. Also, two of the items that I'm going to be talking about with you guys, I'm actually going to be giving away because today is also my celebration of hitting over 100 subscribers on this channel. I know I hit under 500, but I'm going to keep that giveaway separate. If you guys have any ideas on what type of giveaway you would like to see for the 500 subscriber giveaway, let me know down in the comments. I want it to be lifestyle related. Um, so don't say makeup. That's for my makeup channel. But I was thinking, I don't know, some sort of cute Pla a planner maybe for 2017 since we're getting close to the end of the year would you guys like to see a planner giveaway with like cute little stickers and stuff I think that would be really fun so let me know if that's something you want to see or if you have any other ideas because this channel is my lifestyle channel so I'll talk about like food household products home decor DIY type of stuff so just keep that in mind with this channel um, if you guys are interested in beauty you can go check out my beauty attic next door channel if you're a youtuber and you want to learn how to do YouTube um, and how to improve your channel, have iMovie tutorials, Final Cut Pro tutorials, random tips, go check out my Beauty Vlogger 101 channel. I also have a health and fitness channel that is coming out on Sunday, December 11th. It's actually going to be called Health and Fitness Barbie. So if you guys are interested in a health and wellness fitness channel, that is going to be going up on Sunday, December 11th, like I said. But yeah, that channel is going to include exercise videos. It's going to include vegan um, bake with me, vegan cook with me. I'm going to have a sensitive tummy series for anybody who has sensitivities to food. Uh, and also I'm going to talk about mental health on there as well. So the only thing that's going to be health related that is still going to continue on this channel will be my health issues series just because that that is like my past and my health and fitness Barbie channel is going to be my future. Um, so if you guys follow me on Snapchat, if you follow me on my other channels, you kind of understand why. If you don't know, I can explain to you. Just let me send me a comment. All of my health issues videos are going to be on here still, but any mental health and stuff is going to be moved onto that channel moving forward. Um, I will also talk about food in my monthly favorites, but that's it. I won't do any like cook with me, bake with me videos on this channel either. So yeah, that was a really long introduction, but at least this is a giveaway video, so sorry. Um, if you guys want to enter in the giveaway that I'm doing, all you have to do is look in the description box. That's going to include all the giveaway basics, rules, and you know anything that you need to know about the giveaways down there, but I hate how I always end up talking about the giveaway rules in the video. I'm just going to throw it down in the description box. I'm not going to bore you with it in the video. Now for the prizes, I will be mentioning the prizes during the video because I'm giving away some of my favorites from this past month. I thought that this would be a fun way to do the giveaway is to show you guys stuff that I really like and then give it to you. So uh, yeah, so let's just jump on into it. First, we're going to start off with food, and then we're going to do food-related things, and then we'll get into the music and random stuff. So the um, first thing I want to talk about is this pea protein powder. So from Now Sports, it says Now Sports pea protein powder, natural, unflavored, non-GMO vegetable protein. So this is vegan friendly. Um, I think it's gluten free too. No soy, no dairy. I'm not sure if it's gluten free. I can't tell, but that's okay. Um, but the reason why I'm mentioning this and not my Orgain is because I started having problems drinking the Orgain. I don't know if it was the chocolate that started bothering me or what, but um, I have interst interstitial cystitis, so it's a bladder pain syndrome. So if I drink or drink stuff like coffee or alcohol, coffee, even if it's decaf, it gives me severe bl bladder pain. And I'm starting to notice that with anything other than water, it's I'm getting the same pain. So my dietitian, she said, you know, people who even have problems with Orgain, which is geared towards people with sensitivities, this has worked for them. And she also said that she has vegan clients too, so um, they've been liking this. Now, I'm not suggesting this or saying this is my favorite because of the taste. The taste is very bland. It's actually not as bad. She made it seem like it was going to, like, it was like drinking vomit or something, <laughs> but it's not. It actually is fine. There's just no flavor to it, so it's not exciting. But I feel so good after I drink it. It doesn't make me sick. And I love that I at least found something that would work for me right now, I guess. Who knows in a month if this is going to start bothering me. We'll see. Because um, as, as time has passed, more and more things bother me and the more and more that they do bother me. So, um, but so far, this has been great. It's bland, but I feel good. So, if you have food sensitivities, you're trying to find a protein um, shake, that powder that works for you, try this. Um, I know a lot of people don't like whey, so most there's a lot of protein powders that have whey, but I don't think this does. Oh, this better not. I don't think it does. Yeah, pure non-GMO pea protein isolate from yellow peas. That is the ingredients. 
So there you go. Now the next thing that I want to talk about are the Vega Protein snack, mar snack Bars, and I got this in chocolate caramel. They have one in a peanut butter version, which I'm sure tastes amazing, but I can't have peanut butter. Um, but the caramel is just fine. It tastes so freaking good. Like, it's so funny. Like, I've tried protein bars in the past, the ones that have dairy in it or have gluten in it and stuff, but the ones that, uh, but I didn't like those. And I'm so glad that, you know, going vegan or, like, trying gluten-free stuff has really opened up, um me to some other great products and honestly this tastes so freaking good it's just like if you it's like comparable to like a like some chocolate chip cookies like it's so freaking good so it has 11 grams of protein veggies and greens vitamins fiber it's 200 calories so it's made with real plant-based food ingredients so um yeah so you get 11 grams of protein and it tastes really good so i love this i'm also you know i'm always on the go so i need food on the go so What's great about this is a pea protein shake. Like I throw, um, if I'm going to work, I just put a bag of powder um, and take one of these blender bottles with me. Um, I can make pre-make it and then take it with me on the go. I can throw this in my purse. I kind of always have, make sure I always have at least one of these bars in my purse. I have actual, I have a food bag. I have a food bag in my purse. I have a makeup, oh, I should do a what's in my purse video on my BDI Next Door channel. I'm gonna do that. But my my purse is filled with five bags. One's a makeup bag, one's a food bag, one's a medication bag. And then I have a Kindle that I've been carrying around and then shit everywhere. And then I have one of these and then a water bottle. Like I need a suitcase, guys. Like I need a rolling suitcase. If you guys struggle with the same problem, let me know. My purse is big, but it's not big enough, and that's sad. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is the plant-based diet-friendly Earth Balance Mac and Cheese. This one is a white cheddar. I like both the white cheddar and then the regular cheddar. Um, so all you would have to do is use, um, obviously, dairy-free milk and dairy-free butter um, to make this, but it just tastes really good. It's, to me, it's like a comparable to like a craft, except it's vegan, <laughs> you know? So I think this is a really great option. Earth, ba Earth Balance as a brand I really like. I really like their butter too, so I have their stick butter and I have their regular tub butter, um, but this is really good, so if you're trying to find a craft comparable option, try this. The last food item I'm going to talk about is Amy's Vegan Margarita Pizza, and this is ve well, like, well, so it's vegan, it's vegan, um, but this is actually really good, and it does look like, in real life, what it looks like in the picture, so it's not as much cheese, you see a little bit more of the tomato, tomato -y in this, I don't know. Um, but it is really good pizza. Like, I was really surprised. I really liked it a lot. And I also got another one from her as well. But this is the one that I've been having the past month. But Amy's pizza is really good. Like, I've had her regular pizza when I wasn't vegan. I had her regular pizza when I was on a gluten-free diet. Because she's a gluten-free version. She also has, which I have in the fridge too, a gluten-free and a dairy-free version. And then this is just the dairy-free vegan version. So, um, she has a lot of versions to meet a lot of people's different needs. And um, they're all really good pizzas. So I would highly recommend checking out Amy's. No matter what type of diet that you're on, there's something there that can work for you. Okay, now we're going to go on to kind of food-related items. So as a whole, I just want to say that I absolutely love Whole Foods. I show you a bag of a Whole Foods bag, but I always bring my own bags. But um, Whole Foods is the only store that has, like, vegan pizza. That pizza is from Whole Foods. Now, Target... Uh, has actually been coming out with a lot of gluten-free stuff. I don't know. I don't think I've seen anything vegan, but they have a gluten-free section in the freezer, and I've seen gluten-free stuff in their aisles, which I think is awesome that they are starting to incorporate um, those types of things. And of course, they've always had stuff like uh, almond milk or soy milk because um, even if you're not vegan, you can still be someone who's lactose intolerant. Um, but uh, Giant Eagle also has a lot of good uh, dairy-free. I would say they're they're better with like the gluten gluten free section, but a lot of the gluten free stuff may also not have dairy. So they have some stuff. But the times that I need to get like a vegan cheese pizza or a vegan sausage or like a vegan of things that are harder um, to find, that's always Whole Foods. So I don't know what I would do without Whole Foods. And also their fruit is always fresher. Whenever I go to Target or Giant Eagle or stuff, a lot of the fruit already looks old, and I'm like. But when I walk into Whole Foods, I see the strawberries, and I'm like, oh my god, they look nice and wet and fresh, and I'm like, I'm going to make the best smoothie ever. So I really love Whole Foods a lot. So if you're someone who's vegan, if you're someone who has um, any sort of allergies, go to Whole Foods. Um, uh, I'm planning on moving, so I'm trying to look into what cities are vegan-friendly. 
Uh, and luckily all the places that I'm looking are the cities that are vegan friendly, which makes sense because the places that I'm looking at are the ones that are more um, fashion forward and the more fashion forward people have a tendency to be the people who go vegan or who have allergies. I don't know what the deal is, why those certain places like LA, New York, Austin, Texas, Las Vegas, they are one of the top, I don't know about Las Vegas, but definitely Austin, Texas is one of the top 10 vegan friendly cities. Pretty sure that Las Vegas was in there too. But LA and New York obviously too, but yeah, so it, it, Whole Foods is great, but I'm also looking at other grocery stores. If you guys um, don't have a Whole Foods, but you have other grocery stores that you go to, let me know down in the comments, especially if there's some for Austin, Texas. There's a reason why I'm asking you that. But let me know about Austin, Texas, what vegan grocery stores are there, if you're in LA, if you're in Florida, or... Um... But yeah, I'm just kind of interested to see how many, like, I, like, I don't, there's no vegan grocery store around here in Pittsburgh. I hope that wherever I move to, there's an actual vegan grocery store. Strictly vegan. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about, I already kind of showed you guys, but this is a blender bottle. Now, this is a heavy-duty one because you have the actual blender bottle, but then you have two compartments underneath as well. So if you want to take your protein powder, you want to take something else with you on the go, you can just put it in there, and then you can mix it whenever you are ready to drink it. So I really like it. Now, I have two other versions of this. I have this line one, which I just got, which has two compartments. I have a pink one that has two compartments just like this. And then I have a blue one that doesn't have any compartments. It's just this bottom piece. Um, and they all come with, like, this little silver thingy to blend out your protein powder. Which, guys, I lost one of these, so my pink one no longer has one of these. And I've tried to blend without it, and it does a terrible job. I still drink it. I still try to make it work. But it, this is really, it really is essential. I think I'm going to look on Amazon to see if I can just get one of these just to have like backups and also to replace the one that I lost. But these things are so great because not only are they good for protein shakes, but I also put my smoothies in here too. So if I want to take, you know, a bunch of my smoothie to work, but I don't want to take the entire thing that I made, or I just want to measure out what I'm going to have for the day and take it with me on the go, I can just throw it into one of these too. So I'm probably going to get more. I have three so far, but I really want to get more down the road. Maybe after I move into my new apartment, I'll get like five <laughs> because I'm just like constantly using these. Now that was one of the giveaway prizes. So I have another set two right here. So I'm not going to take it out of the plastic package just because I want them to be super fresh and nice for you guys for whoever wins. There will be two winners in this entire giveaway. They'll be winning one of these and something else as well. Um, but I figured I would share with you what works for me and what I love. Um, cause I don't want to give you guys stuff that I don't like. <laughs> I want to give you stuff that I like. So I really highly recommend these. Even if you are someone who doesn't have food sensitivities, you can eat and drink whatever you want and you feel fabulous and I hate you, but I'm just kidding. Um, but I would still say, you know, try to be healthy, try to work in a protein shake, try to have a smoothie. These are great for either option. So just, you know, great on the go drinks. I've even used this as a, just a water bottle, whatever. Now the next giveaways prize is big. I don't actually have the one that I have on me right now because it's dirty because I use it so often. Um, so I figured I'd just show you the box. But this is the Ninja Blender. Which one is this? The Master Prep Professional? Is that what this one's called? Yeah, they had a bunch of different versions on Target's website. But um, this is the one that I have. Now it comes with like this little smaller chopper thing for like onions and stuff. But I just mainly use the blender itself, which is my favorite. I have this if I ever need it. Uh, so I just got you exactly what I had. Now this, this blender is really cool because you have the bottom piece and then you plug in the top. So when you press this button down, that's what makes it blend. And I've showed you guys this blender on Snapchat. So I'll, I'll try to blend something soon so you guys can see it on Snapchat live. But um, yeah, this is how I make my smoothies. And it is the best blender. Because what's great about the blender too is... Um, the one blender I have, it just has blades at the very bottom. This blender has blades all the way up through the top. So if you put in a bunch of stuff, you know, my other blender just blends stuff on the bottom. And then I have to go in with a spoon and push it down, blend, go in, push stuff down. Like, it's so freaking annoying. Um, especially if you're going to be making smoothies and you're going to be using, like, that frozen, like, anything that's really hard to chop, you're, you're just going to be blending forever. But with this, 
you don't have to worry about that because it has all the blades up and down. I think it's really fun just to press down on the button. I don't know what it is, but I think it's just really fun just to press down. So it only has one setting since you're only pressing one down. So some people might think that's a bummer, but I think this blends so well. Like I think it doesn't really matter. It blends great. I really like it a lot. So, um, and you can kind of, Michael, can you stop causing a ruckus? I love your face. Anyway, so yeah, you have to keep like, you can you'll push down real quick or you can just hold and push, but it blends really great. I mainly got, it's funny, I got this my junior year of college, like right when I turned 21, and I got it so I could make margaritas. I can't have margaritas anymore, but I can have smoothies, and I've even used this to um, mix up my protein shake. So if I didn't have that blender bottle, like little circle thingy, if I lost it, I would just blend it in here. But usually that's that's a lot of work, so I don't do that. So, but I do I do make smoothies in here, and then also if I get a bun bunch of vegetables together and throw it in here and then blend, and then and then I have like um, because I have to blend some of my meals just because of my health issues. It's really been a big help, and I actually want to get a backup. But I'm going to wait until I move into my new apartment. So whenever I move into my new apartment, I will be getting a backup because this is so good. And I'm constantly using it. And also, um, it's really great because it comes with, like, multiple tops. So what you can do is you can actually, you know, take the top off part where it has, like, the blender part. And then you can just throw on a closed cap. And then you can just stick it right in your fridge. So if you're not going to use all of it up, put the, put the, uh, the fridge top, I'll call it, and you just put it into the fridge. So it's awesome. So, yeah, the first winner will win this. And this, and then the second winner will win this, and this. My TV favorite this month is definitely The Walking Dead. I absolutely love The Walking Dead. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give it away for you guys. Um, but it's just, it just never ceases to, like, like, I'm never bored of the show. Like, I'm always so excited to watch it, and it's always, like, there's always so many twists and turns. And it's just intense. So intense. But it's good. It is so good. Even if you're someone who's not a fan of violence or, like, watching shows and TV um, or, like, movies with violence, don't worry. This, like, my mom hates, she hates violence. She hates watching movies with guns and all that stuff. She hates it. But we were at Christmas, me, my dad, and my mom, and my one brother who, who's, like, uh, a couple younger than me, years younger than me, and she was like, we're staying up to watch another episode. My dad's like falling asleep. So like, no, we can't. And she's like, I don't know. Watch another episode. Like, that good. It's so good. So if you guys don't know, it's good. The next thing that I want to talk about is, well, actually, I'm going to jump into one random thing and tie it in with the music. So the next thing that is my favorite this month is my Empowered Woman collab tag. If you guys don't follow me on Beauty Addict Next Door, then you don't know, but you should go check out my Empowered Woman collab tag. It is actually a tag that I created, and the tag requires that YouTubers collaborate with other YouTubers to create um, the tag or the set of videos. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have anybody to collaborate with, you can feel free to do the tag on your own. It's not a big deal. But pretty much the, the tag is about... Um, female empowerment where we're empowering each other and ourselves so it's about being yourself and not letting um, other people you know control you not let you know not letting your jealousy get the best of you and just you know thinking about how you should empower someone else as opposed to being jealous like there's just so many good things to it and the, definitely the tag really it kind of makes you it was kind of like therapy for me and I, I'm pretty sure for a lot of us, it was kind of like therapy, and you really do get to know the YouTubers a lot more. Um, and I encourage you guys, even if you're not a YouTuber, to get with friends and do the tag, or to do it, the, answer the questions by yourself, just as a way to talk about, you know, some of the questions are like, when, when, when did you feel powerless? How did you overcome it? How could you overcome it? Um, what are the things that you do to make your make yourself feel powerful? Um, what can what advice could you give it other people to spread empowerment or to make themselves feel empowered? So there's, and you know, what I love about the tag too is that you have to talk about the other collab people that you're collabing with. You have to say something good about each one of them, each and every one of them. So that is like a big thing that I'm on, on a big um, kick on girl power, empowerment. I also started on Snapchat, and what I'm doing on Snapchat is every day I'm going to be talking about a girl and, you know, their accomplishments, 
things that are going on in their lives, things I'm excited about for them, uh, why they have inspired me, why they make me feel special. So I'm going to be doing that daily on Snapchat, so make sure you follow me on Snapchat. Um, so far, um, as of, the, of me doing this video right now, I've mentioned Madison Miller and SL Miss Glam, just because they're people that I look up to and I think are such sweet people. Um, but I do want to say that I'm not going to just do big YouTubers. I'm also going to be doing you smaller YouTubers. I'm going to be doing Instagrammers, tweeters, um, my subscribers, friends, family, celebrities, like any, any female person that that day strikes me like, you know, this is someone I want to talk about. This is someone I think that I should share with you guys. I'm going to talk about, and I'm not trying to make it a shout outy kind of thing. That's not what my goal is to shout out people. So that way they'll follow me or more people will follow me. My goal for it is just to spread the message about female empowerment that you need to be like, not just so thinking about yourself, think about other people and what would make their day. Um, someone, you know, sending me a nice, if someone tweeted me something nice or even like when I was talking on Snapchat about, you know, all the bad things I've been going through, but how great I'm feeling about it. They were like, no problem, girl. Like we got your back. Like that just made me feel so good. So thank you to that person who sent me that snap whenever I was talking about us on the Glam Beauty. Thank you for sending that to me. That really made my day. Um, so just, you know, saying something nice to somebody else. So um, I'm also trying to do more quotes on my Twitter accounts. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to do like quotes at least every other day about female empowerment, empowerment, inspirational quotes about following your dreams and about being yourself, stuff like that. So I've been on this big kick and I really want to keep promoting it. So I really encourage you guys to, you know, if you don't do the tag, even if you don't follow me on those, those platforms, all, all you need to do is just maybe once every day just think of something nice that you can do for somebody else um something nice that you can say to them or comment on someone's picture on instagram just do something nice at least once a day and just make sure you make it a, kind of like a habit to do it because that one comment can make someone's day it took you not that long to do but it can make someone's day so i highly encourage that you guys do that all right so let's jump on into music so we were talking about female empowerment so i decided to on my phone create a girl power playlist so i'll tell you what's on the playlist one second i have megan trainer me too demi lovato confident grace you don't own me megan trainer no Christina Aguilera, Fighter, and Britney Spears, Stronger. So a lot of these are th songs that will really make you feel like good about yourself, um, that you can, kick, the, you can um, kick butt in the world, like just really empowering music. And uh, You Don't Own Me, Stronger, and Fighter. When I was younger, I really didn't understand Fighter and Stronger like I do now. Now I see it completely different than when I was like, I don't know, 14, whenever they came, when those songs came out, 12, I don't know. But um, if you guys don't know already, I was in a, I, I don't know if you're new to my channel or don't pay, like pay, watch every single minute of my videos, but I was in a, or I was in a very controlling relationship for five years and I have to live with that person until July um, because they won't break the lease. And, um, you know, I've just been taking the time to just care, take care of myself and, you know, I'm just feeling really empowered and I think those songs really made me feel even more empowered because Christina Aguilera's fighter song is just like, you know what? You would think that I resent you. What was it? After she says at the beginning, after all you put me through, you think I despise you, but in the end, I want to thank you because you made me that much stronger. So she's pretty much saying, thank you for making me a fighter. So I went through all this shit. It sucks, but you know what? I don't hate you that much because now I'm so much stronger as a person. I'm so much wiser. I know so much better now. So it was kind of like taking the negativity and putting a good twist on it. So really focusing on the fact that, you know, you you went through this, but now you just feel so powerful, powerful, knowledgeable. Um, so you don't have to look at like you, like that experience makes you feel little. You feel big. So I love that. And then Stronger, I like too, because it's like now that you've gotten out of that relationship, that terrible relationship or situation that you may be in, you feel stronger. You've overcome it. Now nothing can get in your way. You are you. So I think that those are great. And You Don't Owe Me is just kind of like, you don't owe me. 
step aside. Like, I don't know, there's just some a little bit of um, attitude to it, which I really, really like. And then Demi Lovato's confident. That just always makes me feel like I can kick butt, especially if you see her music video. Like, she's kicking ass. Like, um, so I really like that one. And Megan Trainer songs. Megan Trainer songs, to me, a little bit vain, but in a good way. Like, in a way that just, like, She's, like, talking about, I'm looking in the mirror, and, like, I'm just so fabulous, and so, yada, yada, yada. But it's really, to me, the message is kind of, like, she's trying to get across the point that you should love yourself, and I think that's really great. You know, it's putting, like, a funny twist on it, a little bit funny vein. Okay, so my camera died on me because the card was full, so I had to export some videos, and I have no idea where I left off. But I'm pretty sure I left you off with just saying a bunch of good stuff about the songs on my Girl Power playlist. But yeah. Sorry about that. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments what your November lifestyle favorites were. And then if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!